Hi everyone and welcome back to the Southerners Northern Garden. So I got my new fountain installed. I've been teasing it on Instagram and today I wanted to go over a little video and instructional on how I have been able to set up my fountain to easily refill without dragging a water hose over. Although I love my Ely products and my Ely water hose, um, I still don't like to drag out a water hose to refill my fountain. This can be done easily either mid-season if you've not set your fountain up yet, it's a great alternative to do now, or in the winter as you're draining and clearing your fountains, you could set it up then. So this fountain behind me is a Henry Lard Eagle T. Um, it has, as well as my fountain in the front, a one and a quarter inch opening at the bottom of the fountain that you use to insert the plug that the power cord goes through. So typically you'll get a rubber plug that has a little hole drilled in the center and a cut and you slide the power cord through there and stuff the power cord or the plug down into the basin and that prevents the water from draining out. So. My fountain up front was super easy to do, so I'm going to go over three methods you can use to refill your fountain. The first two can be done under maybe $10. The last one's a little more expensive, but might be something you're interested in. So for my fountain up front, if you have a fountain that the basin, um, the pump lays in the basin directly, and so the water level is higher slightly higher than the pump. You can just insert a one and a quarter inch tube or PVC pipe. You just need to measure whatever size the opening is that your rubber plug would normally go into. And you essentially, because when the fountains are made, they use a tube such as this to create the opening and then remove it. You can cut your tube to length and mallet it in maybe a half inch. It'll go in a little bit and then it'll stop. So after you do insert your pipe, you want to put a bead of silicone around the bottom of the fountain just to make sure there's no, no leakage. If your pipe's correct, mine, both of my fountains was one and a quarter inch, and you mallet it in there about a half inch, it's unlikely to leak, but I put a bead of silicone just to be caref careful. So for example, in the front, my fountain, the basin is here, and then the pump sits on it, and then the water level is above that. So I need this pipe to be higher than the water level, otherwise uh, all the water will drain out of the pipe, of course. So what you do is you cut your pipe to length, and all I did was I ran black distribution tubing, which you can buy anywhere, it's just half inch um, drip irrigation tubing. You insert it the length of the pipe, and to make it easier so the tube wouldn't fall out, I cut the tubing and I used 90 degree pieces of tubing and I inserted the, the attachments like this. So it essentially makes, you can make it shorter or smaller, makes the little thing so the tube can be pulled down through the fountain and then you hook up this distribution tubing directly to your water hose. I use my Ely splitter valve. I'll, I'll put a link to it below. And that's essentially it. For the fountain behind me, which is new, I had to use a little ingenuity uh, because it actually has a basin. So there's the first tier and the pump sits down and the second tier is not hollow. So to get that to work correctly, I inserted my one and a quarter inch pipe, and I'll put a picture on the screen of what this looks like exactly. This, then you would use a one and a quarter inch coupling, and then a one and a quarter inch plug. And what I did from here was drill a hole right here in the, on the side, kind of here, and I inserted a drip just connector, a half inch drip connector just straight across, and then I used plumber's putty to uh, glue that down and get it real tight. And then I drilled a, an edge right here that I could slide and a hole that I could slide the power cord into. So when all is said and done, I have the drip tube connector sticking out of the, out of the plug like this and the power cord running down the side and then you just insert this plug and I put silicone around it. So one thing I did on this fountain right here was I put an extra valve at the bottom 
of the pump that I can open and all the water will drain out of the fountain for easy cleaning in the winter or fall or um, even if I need to drain all the water out of it during the summer. As long as water is connected directly to the water spigot and you have a valve right under the spigot, water pressure will be in the pipe all the time and so water is not going to drain out of your fountain. The third method I'm going to go over is a little more complicated um, and it's a great method if you have a larger fountain and you never want to actually have to flip a switch or flip a valve to refill it. So the previous two methods I went over, you have to connect directly to a water hose or some other valve that could feed water consistently. So the third method, you can hook it directly to drip so it would just refill your fountain anytime you ran the drip irrigation. It does require a larger fountain, so I actually tried this method initially on my fountain out front because it has a hollow second tier, and this method is only going to work if you have a hollow second tier. They make this device called a Hudson valve, which if you're a homesteader you may have heard of it. They're used a lot to refill animal troughs of water, uh, but essentially you have to have enough room in the second tier to do the same method I did here, so instead of doing this this connection here, you would connect the drip or your other tube directly to this. Essentially you want the water level to be here. So the problem that I had in my fountain up front is the second tier is hollow but it didn't have enough room in there to fit this entire device and so the water level in the bottom tier would stay substantially low even though it worked correctly. So water pressure keeps this little plastic vise on the bottom engaged and when the water level drops in your fountain it releases and then water blows out of the bottom of this device right here. So it will constantly, if you have water pressure on it all the time uh, or water turned on to, to it all the time, keep your fountain at a consistent level. It's really nice, it's really quick, you'll hear it go and then it refills the fountain and it shuts off with the water pressure. Now the first two methods I discussed are fairly cheap. You can get the one quarter inch pipe and if you have existing drip tube, you can get it done for less than $10. I mean, a piece of this at a two foot would cost you less than $2 at your local big box store. The Hudson valves, on the other hand, can be fairly expensive. So I think I paid around $30, $35 for this one. Uh, two or three years ago. I haven't checked on the prices recently, but they also come in various different sizes. So you want to make sure you get the smallest size possible. I got the half inch size. Turns out I couldn't even use it, but I've kept it around in case I want to put in a fish pond or something like that. I can hook this up to it and have water pressure on it all the time and keep the level consistent. I hope you enjoyed this video. I found this method to be very great at refilling my fountains quickly and easily without having to drag a hose out every day. I simply go to the water spigot, flip the valve, turn the water on, and allow the fountains to run uh, until they get adequately full and then I just turn the valve off and you're done. Uh, if you have a better method of refilling your fountain please let me know and if you have some other ideas let me know. If you like this video like and subscribe to my channel below and I'll be bringing more gardening content soon. Have a great day guys. Bye.